My name is Suprita and I'm from India. I work with SAP in Waldorf, Germany. Today I'm going to show you some very simple dance moves of Bali Bhangra that you can use as your dance or fitness routines. So this is a fusion of Bollywood and Bhangra dance. Bollywood is a typical dance that you see in Indian Bollywood movies and Bhangra is an Indian folk dance from the state of Punjab. These moves are going to be very very simple, even children can do these moves and let's get started. So this would be your starting position, your legs apart, uh, a little wider than the width of your shoulders and what you do is first start with your right leg, bring your right leg closer to left leg and then keep it apart. Again bring your left leg closer to your right leg and move it apart. So please ensure that before you start with these moves do some basic warm up and uh, stretching. So when you move your legs you raise your leg, bend it and you drop your leg towards closer to your left leg and then when you keep it apart again you raise, bend and keep it away. So raise your leg, bend your knee and keep it closer towards closer to your left leg. The third detail of the step is when you keep your leg away you need to bend a little bit so that this kind of gives a bouncy effect for the step. So let's get started. This is your starting position. Legs apart a little wider than the width of your shoulders. Closer, far and bend and then raise your body, fold your leg, bring it closer. So one, two, three, four. 5, 6, 7, 8. So you need to do raise your leg like this so that there is a uh, bouncy and a jumpy effect for the step. And let's get started with the hands. So it's very simple and easy to remember. You need to keep your fingers like this. Open just your index finger and when your legs are together, your hands are in the front together. And when your legs are away, your hands are apart. So we start like this one, two, three, four. And when you move your hands, you need to move them in a circular motion. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And don't forget this bend and raise. And you need to lift your leg bend and then drop it every time you move. So this is very common in Bhangra. Actually you need to raise your leg so high but let's just keep it to this right now. So this is the first step. Let's try it with the music. As we learn we'll dance to the music and then we have a dance of around one minute. Let's listen to the song first. I'll give you a cue when you, when you have to start. Let's just do the first step now. Step. Now let's come back to the second step. Uh, we end our first step like this so our legs are away. Now we do the same thing like we did in the first step but we repeat it for the right leg few times and then we start with the left leg. And also we face our body like this so the same thing. And we move only our right hand. So remember to move your hand in a semicircular motion like this and not straight and also try to move your shoulders a little bit forward and then backward so when you bring your hands front you try to move your shoulders front and then 
back. So this step is very simple. This is the ending position of our previous step. We bring our right leg closer to left leg and then move it away. So one, two, three, four, and then five, six, seven, eight. You could as well do the same direction four times and then move towards your left side. So remember, right hand moves with right leg and left hand stays where it is. So you need not hold your hand straight like this. You can just give this bend near your elbow and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you face towards your left and then open front. Face towards your left and open front. And the same thing towards right side. And you move your left leg and left hand. Face right and open. Face right and open. Okay, we are done with the second step. Let's do it with the music now. The first and the second step. Great. Let's move to the third step. So again, this would be the ending position of the second step and we start the third step again with the right leg. And in this step, we keep our right foot front, not exactly in front of left leg, but just somewhere in the middle. And we tap our leg four times and bring it back to where it was. Again, legs apart. So now we move our left leg, tap it four times and then bring it back to where it was. And each time you tap, you raise your leg and drop it. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And you bend your body and you raise it. Kind of squatting. But remember to keep your back straight and don't droop your shoulders in the front. So always a straight posture. You can do many variations of hands for this. You can either do this or just do this. So let's keep it simple so that everyone follows. We keep our left hand on our hips and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So alternate right and left. Only four taps. One, two, three, four. You start from front and then you keep your leg sideways. Let's do this step and the first and the second step together. very simple we end our step third step like this and now our legs are back in the starting back to the starting position and what we do now is we keep our right leg in front of left leg and then back to where it was now left in front of light right leg and back to where it was remember not to uh, keep it too far keep it at a position where it is comfortable for you to bring it back and not to forward either. So closer to your left leg and back. Closer and in front of your right leg and back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You can do a lot of variations in the step. You can see front or you can see sideways. You can bring in a lot of variations. And remember there is a bouncy effect in this 
two. So one, two, three, four. And that's how you burn the calories. Four, five, six, seven, eight. And hand, you can do this. So it's not upwards and not sidewards, but somewhere in between. And when you bring your right foot front, you bring your fingers, uh, hands closer to your shoulders and then back. Hand closer to your shoulders and back. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So for every move of your, uh, move of your leg, your hand comes closer and back. Closer and back. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's do all the four moves with the music now. Amazing! So we learned four steps today of Bali Bangra. Please um, try these steps with different variations of hand. You can either do this or you can cross your hands. There are so many variations possible. I hope you enjoyed the session. I thoroughly enjoyed the session and also burned some calories. So all of you uh, stay safe and stay healthy and be happy. Thank you for watching. Bye!